In March of this year, um, when we realised we had a pandemic on our hands here in Australia, um, I was concerned what this meant for people with diabetes. I started soon after to get emails from around the world from people saying um, I had COVID or my child had COVID and they've now got diabetes. We've never had diabetes in the family. This was a very strange situation. So I decided we should set up a register, uh, which we've now done in collaboration with King's College in London, to record new cases of diabetes coming from uh, people with COVID. Um, the question is whether in fact COVID was causing diabetes or diabetes was actually making people more likely to get infections, which would precipitate diabetes that they actually had, but they didn't even know about it. So now we've probably created um, a register which has already recorded nearly 50 cases of people from different parts of the world. We have collaborators there. We'll be compiling information now to see whether in fact, this is a problem um, created by COVID. More people with diabetes get a better understanding of why COVID might cause diabetes. And then these people will have to follow for many years now to see, for example, if they had a COVID infection and later on, five years later, 10 years later, they had complications which caused disability, um, whether there were new cases of diabetes arising. And this is a new game. We still don't know much about COVID and it's a learning process. And we hope that this register will have a very important role um, globally because we're studying people from uh, Latin America, uh, Asia, Europe, the Pacific. Um, and we're hopeful that we can contribute to a better understanding of why COVID may be causing diabetes and get some leads as to what the mechanisms are and what treatment may be appropriate.